I think on that day, text 33, I read the translation on me. Okay. Text 33. Yuvam ve Brahmana distal Prajasar ge sedatataha Sanyem indriya gramam te pathe parvam tapaha. When both of you hear now, Bhagwan is saying, when both of you were ordered by Lord Brahma to create progeny, you first underwent severe austerities by controlling your senses. Here is an instruction how to use one's senses to create progeny. According to Vedic principles, before creating progeny, one must fully control the senses. This control takes place through the Garbhadhana Sanskara. In India, there is a great there is a great agitation for birth control. In various mechanical ways. But birth cannot be mechanically controlled. As stated in Bhagavad Gita, chapter 13, verse number 9. Janma Mrityu Jara Vyadhi Dukkha Doshanu Darshanam birth, death, old age and disease are certainly the primary distresses of the material world. People are trying to control birth. But they are not able to control death. And if one cannot control death, one cannot control birth either. In other words, artificially controlling birth is not any more feasible than artificially controlling death. This means where is the population in India also many programs are going on government from time to time. They are fearful that one day there will be a lot of population and there will be no place to leave anybody. So the situation will be very difficult.
already in the first text it is said that the four things we have to face after taking birth in this material world death birth death nature of material world birth death old age and disease somehow we are globally able to control some diseases but it it not happened like that that what will the next disease will come we are also knowing we are all knowing in long time before there there was cholera heavy diarrhea poxes hmm. somehow we are able to control this but we see that after all controlling all these kind of diseases there is no full stop on diseases every time all the time some new diseases are just raising hmm. hiv hmm. h1n1 <laughs> hepatitis <laughs> dengue uh, thank you yes hmm. and then this uh, chikungunya chikungunya yes this is also one of the thing related with high fever hmm. and then recently we had corona and then bird flu cow mad or different kinds of names are there none is stopped them so we cannot say that we are successful but here controlling birth from father is saying that if we can, are not able to control death we are also not able to control birth artificially we are trying but we are fail same as in the process of stopping death that's why here the meaning controlling your senses underwent severe austerities by controlling your senses means it is clear that austerity is not possible till your senses are not controlled according to vedic civilization procreation should not be contrary to religious principles and then the birth rate will be controlled i myself not understanding some meaning here it is saying according to vedic civilization procreation should not be contrary to religious principles and then the birth rate will be controlled meaning that uh, to follow to follow religious principles what the shastras are saying yeah then then it will be under control yeah so very clearly prabhupad describing here that if we really want to control birth rate we have to follow the instruction of vedic principles that can including the religious principles also as stated in bhagavad gita 
धर्माविरुद्धो भूतेशु कामोस्मी इन द सेवन चैप्टर वर्स नंबर इलेवन इन भगवद गीता धर्मा विरुद्ध भूतेशु कामोस्मी सेक्स नॉट कॉन्ट्रेरी टू रिलीजियस प्रिंसिपल्स इज अ रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड if you are following then this is accordingly if we are with free choice if you are doing this is called dharma viruddha against the virtues people should be educated in how to give birth to good children through samskaras beginning with the garbhadhan samskar birth should not be controlled by artificial artificial means for this we led to a civilization of animals Mm. <laughs> we want birth but under the law of this sanskara under the guidance i will not say law under the guidance of this dharma this garbhadhan samskar what type of birth we want on this earth the meaning of this statement is like this thus some jeeva production is not meaning here this jeeva this soul should be elevated with full of pious activities since childhood the mind of this girl child or girl boy should be according to this samskara the meaning to this is samskara that we are pleasing supreme personality to send in this garbha in this womb a special kind of soul it was happening in india before that why in 16 different kind of samskara Mm. one samskara was garbhadhan samskara after the meeting within 3 4 days this way this was happening before with the bahens and chanting of this pandits husband and wives were sitting over there and they were arguing to call nice soul inside the this was the meaning of garbhadhan samskara before it was not for sense gratification we met we enjoyed that is why at sense no even by the meeting their mind was different because it also depends very much scientifically the mood and the mind of the parents mm. because our body made of water both side parents and mother it was like this birth to good children through samskaras beginning with the garbhadhan samskar here it is said good children not like anyone ordinary coming in just creating nonsense in the society it was because of the society it was because of dharma and if you are trying to control artificially artificially means from the beginning your meeting is artificially your whole process is artificial 
artificial when you are enjoying for yourself only thinking about your enjoyment this becomes artificial the things become artificial when you think you think about only your enjoyment this becomes totally artificial this is called as per my small mind things if one follows religious principles he automatically practices birth control because if one is spiritually educated not only academically educated is spiritually education is important he knows that the after effects of sex are various types of misery bahu dukha bhaja various types of misery so see misery 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 one who is spiritually advanced does not indulge in uncontrolled sex therefore instead of being forced to refrain from sex or refrain from giving birth to many children people should be spiritually educated and then birth control will automatically follow one good son one good girl if it is there they are is equal to 100 useless children <laughs> one one of its soul is able to change thousands and thousands of minds and it is only possible when we are spiritually educated spiritually educated people can also can only pray they don't have their personal enjoyment they want the welfare of the society they want the welfare to bring a good soul connected with parampara isn't it as per the this is prabhupad is explaining here so it is not only for them not for the only parents is for the whole community whole parivar whole society country for whole world like prabhupad <laughs> when the visual for whole world yeah one soul one soul <laughs> is able <everyone? laughs> guru ji one soul is able to collect many and changing their washing out their <laughs> for an idea if one is determined to make a spiritual advancement he will not beget a child unless able to make that child a devotee as is stated i read again this if one is determined to make spiritual advancement 
he will not beget a child unless able to make that child a devotee first himself and then he will try to bring some soul as stated in srimad bhagavatam the skanda chapter 18 verse पिता न स पिता न स वन शुड नॉट बिकम ए फादर अनलेस वन इज एबल टू प्रोटेक्ट दिस चाइल्ड फ्रॉम मृत्यु द पैथ ऑफ बर्थ एंड डेथ here the meaning protection is different if simply if someone is sending his child in this material world that eat drink and be merry and go and make money and wealth and do the satisfy with this material existence it's like mrityu death and it is yes mm. it is like this and birth is also like this something is there after taking birth sending him like this is both together death birth and death means he is not be able to deliver he will not understand who he is who is he meaning is like this here that that soul or that child the father should be able to make him understand what is the meaning that you were born in this world but where is their education about this a responsible father never begets children like cats and dogs instead of being encouraged to adopt artificial means of birth control people should not be educated uh, people should be sorry people should be educated in krishna consciousness because only then will they understand their responsibility to their children could monetize the second number if one can be get children who will be devotees and be taught to turn aside from the path of birth and death mrityu samsara vartaman there is no need of birth control after under understanding brahmacharya grihastha van prastha and then sanyas sanyas automatically birth control is there after a certain time and if by the grace by the mercy of radharani if this type of soul comes then from the beginning and since childhood this child will be become like a very high class devotee 
may be possible. <laughs> the from Brahmacharya, <laughs> he will not jump in Grihastha, <laughs> directly Vaan Prastha, <laughs> or the from Brahmacharya, he will directly jump to Sanyas. <laughs> then automatically we will not need artificially much control. <laughs> like in Tibet, it's happening. Eldest son of the family, definitely turning to become Lama in Tibet. Mm. Oldest son of the family. Lama means a priest, sannyasi, uh -huh. Buddhist one. So this is the dream. Mm -hmm. This is their doing because of their, they are not following this Vedic. The one contradiction is there. They are not following these Vedic things. But this is their rule to control their, this is also becomes artificially. But here I am saying that in our, the Sanatan Parampara, if something happening, as I said, we always pray that good souls should come. If some Mahatma coming, the nature of Mahatma since childhood will be like this. Mm. That from Brahmacharya, he will direct jump into sannyas. So this hour is natural. Hour will be natural if this kind of soul is there. But in Tibet, even I think this is what they are doing. This is forcefully artificial. You have to be. Yeah, this is tradition. This is tradition. It means tradition forced them to do. Hmm. And here, with the process of Vedic knowledge, understanding. We, we are understanding and we are pleasing, we are praying for this. Hmm. It doesn't matter, they can, this soul can become a very, very famous doctor also. Hmm. Possible. And the devotee. <laughs> devotee and possible, that's his mind is also uh, yeah, yeah. that not too much in this sense gratification. <laughs> so this is these are automatic birth control processes. <laughs> and instead of being encouraged to adopt artificial means of birth control. People should be educated in Krishna consciousness because only then will they understand their responsibility to their children. If one can beget children, who will be the devotees and be taught to turn aside from the path of birth and death, then there is no need of birth control. Rather, one should be encouraged to beget children. Artificial means of birth control have no value. Whether one begets children or does not, a population of men who are like cats and dogs will never make human society happy. <laughs> it is therefore necessary for people to be educated spiritually so that instead of begetting children like cats and dogs, they will undergo austerities to produce devotees. 
Hostility means prayer. My small mind said already something. <laughs> This will make their lives successful. Text 34 35. Varsavata tapahima dharma kala gunananu Sahamano swasarod vinirdhut manu malau Shiranapurna nilahar upashante na chetasa Matta kamana hipsanto Madaradan me hatu. Hmm. This is tough. <laughs> My dear father and mother, <laughs> you endured rain, wind, strong sun, scorching heat, and severe cold. Suffering all sorts of inconvenience according to different seasons by practicing pranayama to control the air within the body through yoga and by eating only air and dry leaves fallen from the trees you cleansed from your minds all dirty things in this way desiring a benediction from me you worshipped me with Peaceful minds. Things are there. They were Mahatabi Mat Purusha and Mata, Mata Pita. <laughs> Those who were able to do in their last life, Devaki and Vasudev. They did all these things. Here, this translation is saying to controlling by your tolerance, power of tolerance. So these, these, these days, I think this is little. <laughs> <laughs> Vasudeva and Devaki did not obtain the Supreme Personality of Godhead as their son very easily. Definitely if you want God as your child, Simply, if it is not easy, then desiring a God as your child, this we can understand that this is possible if you want God as a child. So you have to go through all these things. But the path of bhakti is saying something different. Even after doing this, the matter of heart comes. The matter of Madhurya comes. After doing all these things, we need to check also. In these days, by these type of practicing, Amkara is the main thing can come very easily. Mm. Like Nirjala Ekadasi, Will be able to just decline your amkara or not? This is not is very difficult. 
to say. The part of austerity, it is possible. But it will be a part of purification. This is a question marked for me as my. And the melting tendency of a heart is there after doing all these things mm. by practicing these. If it is possible, then for someone, okay, but I think for these type of practices, these types of advancement, soft word, nature with full of madhurya, sweetness, sweetness it needs different kind of practices. Mm. It needs that to become loving nature by by nature we have, we have to become loving. Our abhyas in Madhurya field we can say we can have different practices. These type of austerities I cannot challenge. But it's not easy. I guess they were appropriate for the place, for the time, for the persons. They expressed their desire to do this type of step. This is mean. Yeah, yeah. We do different kinds. Yeah. So <laughs> Nor does the Supreme Godhead accept merely anyone as his father and mother. Here we can see how Vasudeva and Devaki obtained Krishna as their eternal son. In our own lives, we are meant to follow the principles indicated herewith for getting good children. Of course, it is not possible for everyone to get Krishna as his son. But at least one can one can get very good sons and daughters for the benefit of human society. In Bhagavad Gita it is said that if human beings do not follow the spiritual way of life, there will be an increase of Varana Sankara population. Population begotten like cats and dogs and the entire world will become like hell. Not practicing Krishna consciousness but simply encouraging Artificial means to check the population will be futile. The population will increase and it will consist of Varana Shankara, unwanted progeny. It is better to teach people how to beget children 
not like cats, not like hogs and dogs. Hogs are something. What is that? Hog is pig. Pig. Not like hogs and dogs. Swine. But in controlled life. Human life is meant not for becoming a hog or dog, but for tapo divyam, transcendental austerity. Everyone should be taught to undergo austerity, tapasya. Although it may not be possible to undergo tapasya like that of Prishni, Krishna means Devaki and Sutapa means Basudev. The Shastra has given an opportunity for a method of Tapasya very easy to perform. So in the tapasya and austerity, these words are here. When we listen these words, we think, my God, this is not possible. This we cannot do. It's not like that. Here, maybe, now in coming sentences, what is saying? The Shastra is given an opportunity for a method of tapasya very easy to perform. That is the Sankirtana movement. One cannot expect to undergo tapasya to get Krishna as a child. Yet, Simply by chanting the Hare Krishna Mahamantra, Kirtananad Eva Krishnasya, one can become so pure that one becomes free from all the contamination of this material world. Mukta Sangha and goes back home back to Godhead Param Brajit the Krishna consciousness movement therefore is teaching people not to adopt artificial means of happiness, but to take the real path of happiness as prescribed in the Shastra. The chanting of the Hare Krishna Mantra and become perfect in every aspect of material existence. Hare Ranam, Hare Ranam, Hare Ranam, Eva Kevalam, Glow Nasti, 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 Gatiranyatha. Text 36. Evam vam tapitos titram 
एवं वाम तप्यतो स्तिव्रम तप परम दुष्करम दिव्य वर्ष सहस्राणी द्वादशे मदात्मनो Thus you spent twelve thousand celestial years. My God, <laughs> performing difficult activities of tapasya in consciousness of me. Consciousness of me means Krishna consciousness. मादृशो वृत सु ओ सिनलेस मदर देव की आफ्टर द एक्सपायरी ऑफ ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड सेलिस्टियल यस इन विच यू कंस्टेंटली अनटेम्पलेटेड मी विद इन द कोर ऑफ योर हर्ट विथ ग्रेट फेथ डिवोशन एंड ऑस्टोरिटी I was very much satisfied with you. <clears throat> Since I am the best of all bestowers of benediction, I appear in this same form. as krishna to ask you to take from me the benediction you desire you then expressed your desire to have a son exactly like me exactly like god is only god <laughs> but is radharanin thakur ji are very merciful in shastra it is their same their word the path of austerity what the prishni and sutapa देव की वासुदेव डी इन देर पास्ट लाइफ इट वॉज ओनली पॉसिबल एज यू से टाइम प्लेस एंड सरकमस्टेंसेस एट दैट टाइम इट वॉज पॉसिबल फॉर देम बट द मर्सीफुलनेस इन दिस कली काल इन द फॉर्म ऑफ श्रीमद चैतन्य महाप्रभु arranged he said no 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 dev ki vasudev forget it okay this is the one of the part now i tell what what will work a simple maha mantra because it many thing happened now without love without prema this kali yuga this time of this kali yuga will not will be able to do anything <coughs> so that night right now the time to make loving devotee and for this loving devotee mahaprabhu we brought for the radha rani and krishna together they brought this महामंत्री 
twelve thousands years on the celestial celestial planets is not a very long time for those who live in the upper planetary system. Although it may be very long for those who live on this planet. Sutapa was the son of Brahma. And we have already understood from Bhagavad Gita. One day of Brahma equals many millions of years according to our calculation. Sastra Yuga Prayantam Aryad Brahmano Vidu. We should be careful to understand that to get Krishna as one's son, <coughs> one must undergo such great austerities. If we want to get the Supreme Personality of Godhead to become one of us in this material world, this requires great penance. But if we want to go back to Krishna, Taktva Deham Punar Janma Naiti Maam Iti Sorjuna, we need only understand him and love him. Through love only, we can very easily go back home, back to Godhead. <laughs> Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu therefore declared, Prema Pumartho Mahan. Suchetani Mahapru therefore declared Prema Pumanto Mahan. Love of Godhead is the highest achievement for anyone. As we have explained, in worship of the Lord, there are three stages. Jnana, Jnana Mai, and Rati, or love. Sutapa and his wife, Krishna, inaugurated their devotional activities on the basis of full knowledge. <laughs> Gradually, they developed love for the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And when this love was mature, the Lord appeared as Vishnu. Although Devaki then requested him to assume the form of Krishna to love the Supreme Personality of Godhead more. We want a form of the Lord like Krishna and Rama. We can engage in loving transaction with Krishna 
especially in this age we are all fallen but the supreme personality of god it has appeared as chaitanya mahaprabhu to bestow upon us love of god it directly this was appreciated by the associates of sri chaitanya mahaprabhu rupa goswami said namo mahavadanyaya krishna prema pradayate krishnaay krishna chaitanya naam nigaur tisena maha in this verse sri chaitanya mahaprabhu is described as mahavadanya the most munificent of charitable persons because he gives krishna so easily that one can attain krishna simply by chanting the hari krishna mahamantra we should therefore take advantage of the benediction given by sri chaitanya mahaprabhu and when by chanting the hari krishna mantra we are cleansed of all dirty things chitta darpan marjanam we shall be able to understand very easily that krishna is the only object of love kitnaad eva krishnasya mukta sangha param braje therefore one need not undergo severe penances for many thousands of years one need only learn how to love krishna and be always engaged in his service shivon mukhe hi jihavadu swayam eva smrtyattara then one can very easily go back home back to godhead instead of bringing the lord here for some material purpose to have a son for whatever reels if we go back home back to godhead our real relationship with the lord is revealed and we eternally engage in our eternal relations by chanting the hari krishna mantra we gradually develop our eternal relationships with the supreme person and thus attain the perfection called swarupa siddhi
I read again. By chanting the Hare Krishna mantra, we gradually develop our eternal relationship with the Supreme Person and thus attain the perfection called Surupa Siddhi. We should take advantage of this benediction and go back home, back to Godhead. Srila Narottam Das Thakur has therefore sung Patita Pavana Hetu Tava Avatara Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared as an incarnation to deliver all fallen souls like us and directly bestow upon us love of Godhead. We must take advantage of this great benediction of the great personality of Godhead.